So now we look at invertibility properties of linear maps. And the magic is basically that as soon as you have a linear map that's invertible, the inverse is automatically linear. So if we take T to be a linear map from V to W, if it's invertible, then um, T inverse is also, whoops, I just realized it's going the other way. So it's going from W to V, but it's also invertible. Okay, and so uh, this one doesn't correspond to a number in the book because I'm presenting this material a little differently than the book does because I wanted to have that uh, in that last video or last clip emphasize how much is has nothing to do with the linearity of the maps and then what does have to do with the linearity of the maps. And so this is kind of the magic part right here. So let's see. So by hypothesis, um, the inverse exists, right? So we're assuming it's invertible. That means the inverse exists. What, what we have not clarified is the fact that T inverse is also linear. Okay. So let's see. So let's do the usual thing. We'll show that it preserves uh, sums and scalar multiples. So we'll take two things from W. Okay. Then let's see. Now um, I know that T is invertible. So in particular, sorry, in particular, it's surjective. So that means that W looks like T U, and Z looks like T V for some uh, U and V in V. And in fact, those are unique because T is injective, but we won't quite need that here. Um, so let's see. So if we work out T inverse of the sum, this is going to be T inverse. And then I just uh, cooked up these identities right here, so I might as well substitute those in. So I have TU plus uh, TV. <clears throat> and then I can um, use the linearity of T to sort of factor it out from the sum of U and V. So I have T inverse of T of U plus V. Um, Maybe that now's the time to add some justifications of this. So this is uh, since T is linear. And then, uh, so this is T inverse of T applied to U plus V, just regrouping there. And then that's the identity because um, that's what um, uh, inverses do. And then you recall, uh, or wait, yeah. So you is T inverse of W and V is T inverse of Z. And that's because uh, I can take this and translate, uh, Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so then for for scalars, uh, it's the same thing, or the same order of operations. So we have T inverse of lambda W, and then we swap out our expression for uh, W as T U. And then we use the fact that T is linear to rewrite it as um, T of lambda U, and then the T's cancel. And then we can use the fact again that U is T inverse of V.
Uh, oh, hold on. Wait, did I? Uh, F W. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, much better. Okay, and we're done.